Hey bitches and besties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin and today I am back. I'm gonna be doing another icon reaction. Um, if you haven't seen my last video, I just reacted to them for the very first time yesterday and <laughs> I loved it. I liked the music, but I did pick four songs. I picked like four breakup songs, like sad, they were very pretty. And the comments were telling me like, their music usually isn't like this, but like, we love it. We love their ballad music, but like, anyway, I wanted to get a little bit more variety. So I'm reacting to them again today. Um, I read your suggestions and I picked some of the ones that you guys recommended. I also do want to watch them on Killing Verse because I always love like the Dingo Killing voice and the Dingo Killing Verse. I always love those performances. So I don't know, I'll probably react to that at some point. Um, today I'm doing Rhythm Ta, Bling Bling, B-Day, and I'm Okay. So I'm just going to do four more music videos just to still, I'm still kind of getting an idea about the group, who they are, what they sound like, their music. Last time I was really impressed by the vocals. I didn't get to hear too much of the rapping. Um, the visuals were, were, were working. Um, <laughs> And yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. So I'm excited to check this out. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. Um, let me know your favorite Icon song as well as other suggestions. I've been told that a lot of their live performances are a lot of fun to watch and react to as well. And that they do like rock versions of some of their songs live. And, and so that could be fun to do in the future as well. But anyway, this is Icon. Let's go. All right. So first up for today is Rhythm Ta. Um... I believe this is their debut, so let's just see what they debuted with. Let's go. I don't know how loud this is gonna be. Oh. We gon' get it poppin', we gon' we gon' get it poppin'. Okay. <laughs> Wait, do their numbers mean anything? Wait, it's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, the numbers are all in a row. One, two, three, four. Okay, yep, mm -hmm. that's one through seven. I wonder if it's based on like their age. Let me see. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know if you know. Okay. <laughs> Does it have their names on? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to have a camera in the locker room. Is that what is that what we're doing? Where are we? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh, his little growl. What? Okay. This one right here on the very left, he's like very hand, like very. I was going to say, I don't know. He's very attractive. He's handsome. He's pretty. His face. I like the one singing too. His voice is really, it's really interesting here. This instrumental. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are they jumping like in the... Listen, I feel like a synchronized jump like that would be very hard to do like in a live performance. Like they got to jump and land at the same time. I feel like that would be kind of hard to do. The Chicago Bulls. Oh, 
Wait, is that card really small or is he just really big? I just noticed that card. <laughs> Why did why do it? Okay, it's just a very small car. Okay, <laughs> my there's a lot going on. Oh, that dog's cute. Oh, I like his flow. Okay, body roll. We're just chilling with our abs out. <laughs> uh. I love this beat. June. I feel like that could be. I feel like that's June in the middle. Like he's the only one whose name I know because I googled him yesterday because scientific research. Hey. Okay. Oh, that does have their names on the back. But I think that's the first time we actually saw their debut album, Welcome Back. Well, Welcome Back, you just got here. What happened? <laughs> Did they have like a pre-debut something? And okay, or was "Welcome Back" the name of the album? Anyway, "Rhythm Ta" or "Rhythm Ta." Um, I loved that. That was kind of sort of what I was expecting yesterday. Like going into Icon, I was kind of expecting this like fun hip hop bouncy um, energy, and that's exactly what we got here with this debut. And I love. <laughs> I actually loved this song. Um, I want to hear more. See, now that I'm getting a fun, upbeat uh, hip hop song, I wanted more vocals because <laughs> like in the bridge, there were parts where like I felt like we were going to go towards like an R&B, more sensual uh, moment. And like the vocals were just really pretty here. That's I think that's what I want. I want to hear them do like a R&B, um, more like grown sounding. But like this was really fun. I'm seeing... I'm seeing variety, right? Like we got the sad ballads, uh, the breakup songs, which I love. This is probably more of a song that would go on my playlist or that I would listen to more frequently. I don't listen to a ton of rap or hip hop, but this beat and like this song is just fun. And I like, there's a time and place for every type of music, but especially recently I've been listening to a lot of like fun music. Uh, so yeah, this is, I loved this. Uh, let's move on to the next one. All right, next up is Bling Bling. Let me know how important the lyrics are for uh, Rhythm Ta and Bling Bling because I'm on the official channel. We don't have captions on these two. I, I haven't checked the other two yet, but let me know. Um, I'll probably just Google like what the songs are about after my reaction. Um, I mean, this song is called Bling Bling, so 
I don't I don't know how deep the lyrics are going to be, but I don't know. Uh, typically with hip hop, like the lyrics are usually not nonsense. Like that's the whole thing of hip hop. It's like lyrics are very important. Um, so, but I don't know what type of song this is. Let's go, bling bling. Oh, they got a bigger budget for a full-sized car this time. Oh. Okay, so we're seeing more choreo. Where are we going with this chorus? Wait, do they just like really like sports? Because we were in a locker room, I feel like, with the last one. And he just had a basketball. I think they're the group whose light stick is like a, a red bat. Isn't that icon? It's like a baseball bat. I don't know if that's also sports related. Okay. his smile wow Wow, he's, he's really handsome. I feel like they all they all are handsome, but like he's pretty handsome. Oh. His voice is very recognizable. Is he, I feel like, is that Jay? I know, I know like a couple other names. Is that Jay? I think he was the youngest member. They're getting real low for that choreo. Oh God. <laughs> wow, who is that on the right with the tan skin? Gorgeous. Oh, we're, they're turning up. Oh, this one would be fun live. Okay. Wow. Hold on. I need to see. Wait, hold on. Composed by 
Lyrics by B.I. Bobby and Millennium, composed by B.O. That's B.I. Sorry, I said not B.O., like body odor. Like <laughs> I was saying O and then B.I. at the same time. Um, okay. So I love to see that. I love it. I love to see when members of the group are like super invested, like super involved in like the creation and the production of the music as well. Um, I think B.I. is the member that is no longer with the group, I believe. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I again, I don't know a whole lot about the group. I've just kind of did Googling a little bit yesterday and, of course, reading all of your comments and stuff. So um, that's still really cool. I just I love to see involvement. Um, I want to see what song that what year the song came out, though, because um, I have I have <laughs> I have some thoughts um icon i liked the song it was definitely 2017 okay it was giving me second gen okay interesting so the song this song so let me be honest i liked rhythm ta better as a song but bling bling was also very fun I don't know if this is going to make sense. I feel like Bling Bling feels more like iconic, like that second gen feel. Um, it was, there were moments of the song where it kind of felt like I was at like a 21, like fire, uh, 21, I'm the best. It was kind of giving me that sort of nostalgic throwback second gen feel, but like less party, let's turn up. Um, I really liked that. I loved their energy. These are the, this is kind of what I had expected a little bit. I thought that Icon was going to be like a fun, dancey party in your face, aggressive hip hop. And so these songs are kind of showing that side of them a little bit more. I really actually like that. I started with the like breakup stuff because it, it threw a curveball. Um, it was completely unexpected and I got hit with the group's vocals first. See, I feel like if I would have done this first, because that was my impression of them going into it, right? And so if I had just done these songs first, you know, I might walk away with that impression, like this is all the group can do. So I like that I did it the opposite because I'm seeing a lot of different variety now. So, um, all right, that was Bling Bling. Next up, we're going to do B-Day. All right, Icon, B-Day music video. Let's go is in black and white the supreme socks 11 wait they're putting in like weird futuristic contact lenses that's kind of cool oh it's your birthday who's birth oh That. Excuse me, sir. Why is he being so aggressive? I wasn't ready for that. I don't know who he is, but he. I just got attacked. <laughs> Yes. Oh, this beat. Oh, he's really cute too. Wow. <laughs> he's very handsome too. I love this beat. It feels like we're about to go to a dance party or like a birthday party. Like it, it feels like we're building up to a drop. But what is this like Aztec jungle runes situation? Did they get transported into like back in time? Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can spot. Do they? Uh, I'm sure. Is his, is that see-through body mesh? I'm getting distracted. 
uh, let me, <laughs> uh, okay, it doesn't get any, okay. Um, let me see if I can find a main dancer. Let me guess. Oh God. Uh, he feels like a main dancer. Oh, but he's gonna dance solo. Oh god. Is he the leader of the group, this guy? Um, this one right here who's just like jumping and being aggressive and attacking this entire... Sir! I appreciate him wearing the undershirt underneath that, though. <laughs> we couldn't handle that. What is happening? Oh my god. <laughs> Sing it. I love their bridges. Oh my god. This is really fun. Oh, he might be the main dancer right there in the middle. Okay, I don't know who that is, but she's pretty. I don't know why they focused on her for so long. What's happening? Let me look. Is this like a is this like another group I should know? Cuz I don't. Okay, well that was fun. Um <laughs> That was a lot. That one was um I really liked that one. I can't decide if I like that better or Rhythm Ta better, but like I liked both of those songs a lot. I really liked Bling Bling too. Um this one I think might be my favorite. It was very aggressive and fun and in your face. And like that one guy with the, with the hair, it felt like he was kicking me in the face. Um, interesting. Okay. Um, these three songs were all older, like 2016, 2017, I think. 2015 to 2017. And then the last one we're doing today, I'm Okay, was from um 2019 so it's a little bit newer but hold on i'll be right back and we will watch that one all right this is i'm okay there are captions on this one so let's go okay so we're starting off on fire i'm okay we don't watch him I'm used to being alone. 
쉬울 걸 찾다가 채워지는 잔들 매 말은 내 감정에 솔직해지지 가끔 무덤덤하지 어떤 상황이 와도 혼자 인게 편할 때도 외로움은 나를 잡 Wait, these lyrics are better off being alone by themselves, but they're also lonely. But don't worry about me, I'm okay. What is this song about? Because these lyrics, people, everyone's turning their back on them. Like, did they go through some stuff? Like, with the industry? Or, like... His voice makes me smile. I don't know what it is about his voice, but I like his voice. Is that the youngest? Oh. Okay, so like the, they got dumped, they got broken up with, and everyone is like bugging them, like, hey, are you okay? Like, are you, are you fine? And they're just like, no, like I'm sad, I'm lonely, but like also leave me alone. <laughs> I need time for myself. Um, but time by myself also makes me realize how lonely I am. Okay. I don't know if it's bigger than that because the writing, these lyrics make it sound like it's just about a relationship. Wow. You don't have to set all the memory. Oh. <laughs> I just said that out loud without even thinking about like setting the memories of that person on fire. Like all of those TVs with like the, they're like old TVs, like with cassette tapes, like the memories. I think that represents like the time with that person. And he's just setting it all on fire, like burning it down. Like I got to get rid of it. And they're old TVs too, so you know, like the past, probably with this person for a long time. That's sad, but that imagery is really, I love that imagery and just like the burning tire just rolling through. Oh, look at him handsome just laying on top of that car. Was that real? Like, is that... Was that special effects or did they really just like set that thing on fire? I need to see a behind the scenes of this music video because that would scare me. That looked real, like a detonation. He must be a good actor. Oh, wow. He's really pretty. <laughs> It's like they're at a funeral. They're all wearing like really, they're all wearing black, first of all, like they're mourning. Um, but like, they're also like men in black suits and like, 
I always love a suave, handsome gentleman, but like this is sad. Um, so like, I really like this song. I really like this song a lot. Wow, that was really good. I feel like that one could have fit in with like yesterday's, but um, wow, that song was really good. It really just depends on your mood, doesn't it? Like, I'm going to go back and listen to all the songs I listened to yesterday again, like right now. Not in this video, but like for myself. And I'm going to love them even more today, probably. Because like my mood, certain days you're in the mood for different types of songs, right? Sometimes you can hear like a sad song and you can just be like, I'm not in the mood for this. Or you can be annoyed if you're in like a bad mood, just be like, <laughs> whatever. Uh, and then some days you want to like turn up and dance and have fun. And some days you want all of that. Um, so it really just depends. My mood is so hit or miss, honestly. <laughs> um, today, I just happen to really like all of these songs. Um, I'm also in a decent mood today. So I don't know. I really liked this. I loved Rhythm Ta. I loved B-Day. I loved Bling Bling. I think out of all of these, Bling Bling felt the most... I don't... Like, I liked the song a lot. It just felt the most kind of dated, like, K-pop. Does that make sense? Like, it felt kind of like second gen, um, nostalgic, iconic, but it, it's probably not one I would listen to as much. Um, I loved all of these songs, though. I'm, I'm very glad I took a second look and reacted to these songs. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I think Rhythm Ta or Bling Bling, one of these they perform on Kingdom, and then like two of the other songs I reacted to yesterday, they also perform on Kingdom. So I wanted to be familiar with the songs before I get to those performances. So I will be reacting to them on Kingdom on Thursdays on Patreon. Um, I do also want to check out their Killing Vo their killing Verse as well. They have a lot of songs. Um, I don't necessarily have a lot of time right now for a full deep dive, um, but I'll keep an eye on them. I don't know if they're having a comeback soon. Um, this might be a group that I just kind of like slowly learn a little bit about here and there. Um, but I'm excited to hear your thoughts and read your comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later. Bye.